out. Ah. Oh, wheel spin. Somehow I ended up here on the ground. Brother, help me up. I've fallen down. So, hello, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Cornwall. Hopefully for some better weather this time. It's a bit grey today, it's still about 13 degrees. But I'm on the Camel Trail. We're staying in a village called Nanstalon, which is just south of Bodmin, right near the Camel Trail. We've just literally done three kilometres to get here. And we're going all the way to Padstow on this dedicated bike path, which used to be a railway. It does also go up to Wenford Bridge. So we'll be going up to Wenford Bridge a bit later on. So looking for a good day out on a bank holiday. Hopefully we won't be too busy. <laughs> but we've also got an official climb today. I'm doing Bishop's Hill Wood, which is number 113 on the official list. So that one is 14% average with a max of 28%. So looking forward to that one. It's probably the only hill today. Right, so far it's been gradually downhill on a really nice surface we've had a bit of tarmac and uh, just nice sort of tarmac with a little layer of gravel on top so not too bad but the smell of wild garlic because the wild garlic and the bluebells and everything is out it's very very pretty we're following the river camel all the way to Wadebridge so far very pleasant just could do with it being a bit warmer the sun was poking through when we started but it is no longer on view. I close my eyes so it's just you and I and I tell myself you'll be back again when the stars are alive we we've just come through Wadebridge and we've got another five miles to go to Padstow but we've just come under one of the main roads. I think that's the A30, I'm not sure. But it's quite a major road, but it's very high up in the air. But it's uh, getting a little bit busier because there are quite a few bike hire shops in Weybridge. So hopefully now we're moving a little bit quicker than they are. It's quietened off a bit. So that's the end of the trail at Padstow, so we're turning around now. And what else could you spoil? A nice jaunty flat ride, but with a massive hill. So <laughs> off to find this hill now. And then we're off to uh, Wenford Bridge, which is 16 miles away according to the sign. Right, so I've had to go up a climb to come down a really, really long climb, which I've left Deb at the top, <laughs> to have a go at this, and it doesn't look very pleasant. I'm now questioning <laughs> what the hell I'm doing this. There's a nice flat bike path all the way back to uh, Wadebridge. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, average is 14%, maximum of 28 for 500 metres. Stop it. 
That's the first. I still gotta get up there. <laughs> Only 500 meters, I said. 28%. It is so slippy. Uh, landed on my hip. Uh, I hope that's okay. Oh, there's a car coming. God, I can barely walk on it. It is very slippy. Oh, is my feet going again? <laughs> Use the potholes. To Get some grip. Oh. <laughs> Could get clipped in. Done it again. Oh. Maybe you just even cross water right today. 454 meters still to go. I only made it 100 meters. My feet felt numb, just like father did when I was young. I don't know how I could be so dumb. Ah, oh, that's one of those official climbs that is a challenge rather than one that you want to do because it's a pretty climb. That was ridiculous. So slippy. And the scary thing is I've got to go back down it because Deb's the other side. I've still got to go up another hill just to get to where she is. <laughs> Number 113, Bishop's Hill Wood. I fell off going up a hill. I knew I couldn't clip out this. <laughs> Slow motion, toppling over. <sighs> now I'm ready to be hurt again. I'll end up in your lap. You know, if the camera gives us a perspective of how, actually how steep that is, but bloody hell. <laughs> I'm scared to go down. I'm actually shaking, thinking I have to go down it. Because it was so slippery. No, I'm actually going to walk down a hill. I don't know whether I've had to actually ever walk down a hill before. Why is it so slippy? I know we had rain yesterday, but that's scary. I can feel my body cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me, look at me deceiving. Let you get the best of me in bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take hold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take hold. That was hard enough, just coming out that last climb. Um, I fell off, going up a hill. It was ridiculous, slippy. I've had to walk coming down it because I nearly fell off coming down it. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> I landed right on my hip. <laughs> Stop waiting yourself, that's not funny. I met that guy, he was going down as I was coming up the other hill. And I said, you going up Bishop's Hill Wood? And he said, I'm trying to get to Weybridge. So we're going the wrong way, luckily, because there's a 28% climb. I've just fallen off. So he's changed his mind. He's turned around and come back. <laughs> he's obviously seen it. Thought, no. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Back to the Camel Trail, which is nice and flat, all the way <laughs> to Welford Bridge, or whatever bridge it's called. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Back on the Campbell Trail, nice and flat, back amongst the bluebells and the wild garlic. So the moral of the story is, don't have delusions of grandeur when you're out for a nice ride, on a nice flat ride, going up a stupid 28% climb. <laughs> um, my hip's okay at the minute, I can kind of feel it, I'm hoping it won't get any worse.
sitting at this table. It was 113 climb that I fell off on. <laughs> so there we have it. We have reached the end of the Camel Trail. So that's Wenford Bridge. I don't know how many times I've said that today and got it wrong, but it's Wenford Bridge all the way to Padstow. So about 16 miles of bike path. Most of it's off-road. There's a little bit through Wavebridge you have to go on the road. But yeah, beautiful bike path. Less said about Bishop's Hill with the better. My hip is a bit sore, especially the touch. So uh, it is a bit bruised as well as my ego. But you yeah, can't have it always, can you? I might have to have a rethink about my goals of cycling all the official 100 climbs and just rule out the ones that haven't got double digits. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully, I'm um, going to have a day off the bike tomorrow and on Wednesday I am hopefully hopefully going to feel alright to go and tick off the rest of the Cornwall official climbs but if they're anything like today's who knows <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we will see you very very soon probably with me in a lot more pain and not just my hip somehow ended up here on the ground brother help me up i've fallen down